Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We are at the 2024 PRI show. We're in the Noonan Race Engineering booth. I'm joined by Barry Pettit. And between us here is an all billet Noonan V10, and it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and Elring Goss Original. Barry, great to see you again, man. Yes, sir. How you Thank been? you. Yeah, great. great. Here we Busy. are, another PRI show already, yeah. right? Oh, so fast. Yeah, <laughs> so fast. Well, you guys got something, you always have something cool, but this thing's pretty neat, something a little bit different than. Uh, what most people might know Noonan for. Correct. Obviously the billet goodies are here, but this is a V10. Yep. So uh, tell us a little bit about so it. So this is a fully Noonan spec V10. Um, it does have a you know, Lamborghini bell housing on the back of it. Other than that, this is completely us. Um, cylinder heads are dual overhead cam, uh, you know, four valve. It, it is everything that we've ever wanted to put in an engine. This is a, a engineer's dream. Yeah. We put everything that we wanted in this thing, and uh, we're really excited about it. That's awesome. Barry, you mentioned the Lamborghini bell housing, but does this have other applications outside of uh, Lamborghini? So our, our target with this engine is to go with guys who are looking for a boutique style V10, okay. high horsepower, high, high rev. Yeah. Um, your guys that are looking to make 100 to 200 cars um, that have the absolute best application that they could inside their engine bay. Yeah. And th this is what we want to offer. Walk us through a little bit more about what's inside here. Um, and, and tell us, with it being a V10, are there other challenges compared to what you guys do on the V8 side? It is, so it, it is a 5.8 liter. Um, some of the challenges that were new to us for this, we haven't done many overhead cam engines. You know, we're, we're push rod guys. Yeah. We do blocks for Hondas and Lamborghinis and stuff like that. But developing a cylinder head to have cams and, and you know bucket style valve train it's it's different yeah um, we're really excited about it it is the future and it has extreme performance capabilities um, that's new for us that was a big challenge yeah um, this engine is fully water jacketed okay so block having water jackets is no big deal for us we do that all the time right having a overhead cam water jacketed head is a tough ask yeah um, so that's that's one of the biggest deals with this engine. How long did that take to develop? Uh, to be honest, this is a project that we have been working on in our spare time okay. for years. Um, but we, we finally got it to where it's like, all right, we're gonna push this out the door and we're gonna make a statement. Yeah, you're happy because, with it. Because yeah. you're exactly right. Most people know us for our Hemi stuff. This is not typical of us uh, from a market perspective. Right. Everybody internally in the shop, this is what we geek out on all the time. So we, we wanted to come out and make a statement, hey, this is what we're capable of. Yeah, yeah very yeah. cool. All right, obviously you mentioned the heads and the overhead cam situation here being much different yeah. than the V8 side. Um, <laughs> Component-wise, are you guys using you know similar components inside as uh, your other builds, or is, this, is that stuff different too? We, we did partner with a lot of the vendors we use everywhere else. So, I mean, it, it has Exeldyne valves, Carrillo rods, um, Molly Motorsport pistons. So, I mean, there is a lot of similarities there. Yeah. Um, some components we did have to go with other vendors just based on availability. Yeah. And a lot of it, we we still have a lot of testing to do. You know, it's typical PRI. Let's get it together and get there. Yeah. Um, there's there's still a lot a lot to learn. This engine spec here is meant to be an endurance racing platform. Okay. To where you can run it, you know, at 8,500 RPM, and and beat the brakes off of it. Um, we also are working on pretty much an all-out, lightweight, you know, think old F1 yeah. spec nice. where it's super high rev, max effort. That, that'll that be next. Very that's, cool. That's what we're working on. Now, have you gotten to hear this thing on the dyno? I'm sure it sounds pretty wicked. I, I haven't yet. Okay. Um, I haven't yet. I've been traveling and stuff and it's, it's, um, yeah. it, it's going to be an instrument yeah. for sure. Yeah. It's a different tune. We're used to hearing, you know, 4,000 horsepower out of a big Hemi. So right. hearing this thing's going to be a blast. Right. Yeah. Very cool. All right. So you mentioned it being more for the endurance uh, side of racing. Uh, how much horsepower does this V10 crank out? Projections right now um, are 
800 ish naturally aspirated. Okay. Um, boosted. I, I, just we have. Depends, right? Yeah, it kind of yeah. depends on what you do. Yeah. Our Lamborghini block, which um, is kind of similar to this, I've got guys at 3,500 horsepower on it. So, um, you know, it, it would really be a, and I don't know what it would do. Right. You know, I think it would really go up in that range. Yeah, because. You know, you mentioned boosting. You got a number of options between a single or a twins or you know whatever. So. Yeah, 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 very cool. Yeah, no doubt. Barry, one thing I didn't want to skip here was this intake. This thing's pretty uh, sweet looking. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. I'm going to credit my engineering team at the shop. This is their genius work. Yeah. Um, it is individual runner. Obviously, there is trumpets all through it. It is meant to be a true baddest of the bad naturally aspirated intake manifold. Nice. Um, I, I would love to pull these screws off and show you because even inside it is a work of art. Yeah. But um, it, this is something based on simulations, years and years of testing at the racetrack, Jamie. Um, it, it is a, it's a wicked piece. Yeah. And now you mentioned the naturally aspirated side. Do you anticipate that that is going to be the bigger crowd, uh, people who aren't going to boost it? It's hard to say. Yeah. We, we do get a lot of guys that want the naturally aspirated simplicity. And they want they want that high revving, old school racing, you know, 1980s era stuff. Yeah. You know, um, there's a lot of people going back to that. So we and everybody loves that. Yeah. So we we want to we want to definitely be able to offer that to customers. Yeah. Very cool. Barry, let us know if there's anything else about the uh, the Noonan V10 that we're leaving out here, but. If not, we always appreciate you guys running us through a, a cool new build. No, not a problem. There's so much going on in this thing, we'd probably have a 30 minute engine of the week video. Right, right. But it, it, it's a it's an incredible platform, um, super wicked water um, water pump system that's driven off of the oil pump, gear drive in the back. I mean, it is just, it's everything you would want to do. Yeah, and now, so is this a dry sump system down there? Yep, complete okay. dry sump. So uh, obviously we did the block, the girdle, and the, the dry sump pan is all CNC'd from us. Nice. Um, all the, the manifolds for the oil pump is all done by us. Water pump, the blades, turbine blades in there, that's from us. I mean, it's, there's a lot of Noonan in this thing yeah. that nobody's ever seen us make before. That's super cool, yeah. super cool. All right, Barry, well, pleasure seeing you as always. Thanks yes, again for walking us through this Noonan V10. And uh, guys, make sure you're checking out everything that Barry, Jamie, Renee, all the guys and uh, folks at Noonan Race Engineering have going on. And as always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.